61A, lecture number 37, announcements. The completely optional Scheme Recursive Art Contest entries are due today. Please read the instructions carefully on how to submit. You need to submit through OK, but also take a screenshot of the image generated by your program and fill out this Google form linking to that image and providing other information, such as your haiku describing your art. We will create a gallery of all the entries and show those to the class so that they can vote on their favorites. So be aware that lots and lots of people will look at your art. Homework 10 is due on Thursday. Remember that we'll have an optional project fair in this course. Signups for participation were quite a while ago, but if you've just recently had an idea of something you want to share, certainly get in contact with us and maybe we can squeeze you in. And everybody's welcome to attend the project fair. That's kind of the whole point, is to give you all an opportunity to see what your classmates have been working on outside of the class. It's a fun event, so mark your calendars for Sunday the 15th of December. This Friday, we will have a lecture, but no lecture videos like this one. Instead, there will just be live lecture and a screencast of live lecture. Why am I doing this to you? Well, to encourage you to come to class. You don't have to come to class, you could just watch the screencast, but you're certainly welcome to come to live lecture this Friday or any other time. Since we have a smaller lecture hall this semester than in previous semesters, it might be crowded. And if you get there and can't fit in, I certainly apologize for that in advance. We will finish the regular lecture content this week, but next week, there will be live events in live lecture that will be screencasted. These are review sessions run by a student group called CS Mentors. Today's lecture is unusual in that it's not about general knowledge that everybody should know in computer science, but instead it's about the particular branch of computer science that I conduct research in called natural language processing. I'll show you how many of the concepts from this course recursion, trees, and memoization can all help in the process of getting a computer to do something useful with natural language text like English or Chinese. Today's lecture, along with everything this week, isn't any required new material. We've finished covering everything that's going to be on the final exam for this course. This lecture is just for your interest but it does show you some examples of how to put together ideas in the course so far to do something new. 